Because no one thought he would win Bolsonaro. I mean, the the, the establishment didn't think it was going to. You, you heard this before. It was right? less possible than Malay about it. Oh, yeah. oh my God, Bolsonaro! Like Bolsonaro is going to be the president. You heard this before. It was a it's joke. Sure. Exactly it's like sure. like. The difference. Trump. The difference is that when he, a lot of people say like Trump, the difference is Trump's been famous. Yeah. For a long time, exactly. for money, TV. Yeah. Was your father famous in no. Brazil? No. 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 Well, no. he was. No. He was famous for being on on TV shows. Uh, yes, because my the race of my father, it was in the exact moment that the strategy of the left wings was uh, doing a uh, encourage the politically correct uh, policies. So. My father was accused of being racist, nazist, fascist, homophobic, pre and all of that. Pre-running? Pre pre-running, yeah. pre-running. And then my father, he wasn't given a, a bad meditation for that. And uh, started to keep talking, the, his thought, his thinking, what he was thinking. And uh, he started to go all around the country because he said, if Dilma Rousseff, who is not smart, and I'll be very polite here, uh, if he got reelected, if she did get reelected as president of Brazil, why not me? So he starts to go all around the country doing some radio shows and TV shows. When is this, 18 or 17? This was... 16, 17. He yeah. Started, yeah. So he started talking about his policies that he thinks there's a problem in Brazil in 2016. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In TV popular shows. Yes. Including like shows that were not ab about politics. About uh, one, one thing is important. But a lot of these shows invited him to mock him. To mock him. Yes. Yeah. To mock him. To make fun of him. But the view, but that's the, the, the disconnection there is between the legacy media Correct. and the people, the population. Because we, when we watched him and we saw his words, well, like that's exactly yeah. what we Got think. It. Beautiful nice people was making fun. And then he was talking with the mess of the people. And there's a nice point on it because the internet made his voice heard, you know? Yeah. So 2016, people started to go on Facebook, on Instagram, and then people uh, could hear him because all we had were the traditional medias in Brazil that never put him as a good person. <laughs> okay, so at that time he's going, He's behind the scenes. No one ev is even looking, right? He's he's nothing at the time, 16, 17, 18. You know him. You're saying you know him, but he's not front-facing. He's behind closed doors. Okay. No threat, no signs of that one time he stole this, that one time he did this. That There's nothing yet. No corruption. Okay, so what happens 2020 with him? Now Bolsonaro is the president. Now he's there. He wins 2019 till 2022. What's happening to him now behind closed doors? So in 2019, when Bolsonaro got elected, at the same time, Car Wash was starting to investigate Supreme Court judges. Mm -hmm. So in uh, early, Lula hasn't gone to jail yet, or he did? He wasn't. He was 520 yeah. days in jail. Yeah, he was supposed to do 10 years, 12 years. Yeah, he did 520. Yes, but right. Car Wash started to investigate the judiciary at that time, and then they, the judiciary, made something very interesting. Right, pull up Operation Car Wash. Keep going, please. They made a very, very interesting thing. They decided, well, there's a provision in the Supreme Court bylaws, internal bylaws, mm -hmm. saying that if a crime occurs within the premises of the court, we can open an investigation ourselves. It's a, like, it's a court opening an investigation. So the U.S. Supreme Court has the same um, structure. Yes. So they can open an investigation. That, that's, that was thought to investigate like internal crimes. Someone stole something right. in court. In the U.S., for example, right. they opened this to investigate who leaked uh, the Roe v. Wade overturn. OK, but in Brazil, they said, well, if people are saying stuff against us on the Internet, well, the Internet's kind of everywhere. So it's <laughs> within the premises of the court. So we're going to open an investigation about people trying to um, slander the Supreme Court. So and, and then they started uh, censoring articles, including an article from a magazine that pointed out that one of the Supreme Court justices was uh, involved in corruption with one big construction company in Brazil. And they censored that. And that was the beginning of what they called the fake news probe. That's the same probe that was open in 2019. Mm -hmm. That's that's the birth of it. Mm -hmm. And it's still open now. That's mm -hmm. the, the We're all being investigated by it. For Even, years. For years. Elon Musk is being investigated by this probe. <laughs> no. uh, Michael, he is. Michael Schellenberger yeah. uh, is being investigated, investigated there. Everyone. So it's, and they issued measures against, they've sent people to prison, but it's only a probe. It's not a case yet. They, no one has been charged for five years. But have had their houses raided, uh, yes. passports confiscated. It's interesting to point out that at, on the same time, 
And that's interesting for you as is what you're telling me. Elon Musk will be investigated over fake news and obstruction in Brazil after a Supreme Court order. <laughs> yeah. What's the date on this, Rob? Uh, this is probably a month ago. ago. Yeah, two yeah. weeks ago. Okay. So you're saying this, April, okay, this is a month ago. Okay. While you're saying this, this Alexandre, he's still, is he the puppet master behind closed doors or not yet? Well, he he's, he became the most powerful man in, in, in Brazil by far, because this is is a, it's, it's an interesting investigation. And what's interesting for U.S. viewers as well is that at the same time, the United States, mostly the left and the deep state, were discussing well, how do we deal with the internet problem that Nicholas was talking about? Well, the Trump got elected through the internet, and Bolsonaro got elected through the internet, and then you had the we Brexit. also. No, yeah. Them, yeah. several congressmen, the, the Republican Party changed dramatically because of the internet. Uh, you had Brexit, and it, you had Hungary, and you have all the changes, of, all these changes around the world. So it, it was like the establishment started to see what could they do to change it. So that's when you see right now, if you if you read the the industrial com, uh, censorship industrial complex uh, report from the House Judiciary Committee, you see that the Biden administration was discussing with. Uh, with the social uh, media companies, how to censor and moderate some type of uh, opinions. Extremists. And, and they sent, this is public records, it's not a conspiracy theory, it's, I'm, not, I'm not one of these guys, but they sent uh, FBI officials and Department of Justice officials to have meetings in Brazil with the TSC, uh, trying to explain to them how to quote unquote combat this information. That was kind of, that was the same- When was this? 2019. And this is public records. This is in 2019, pre-Biden becoming president. Yes. Yep. Is the establishment pre fighting back? The deep state, yeah. the deep state, uh, they, they, well, we all know wh how much Trump suffered uh, from the FBI okay. while he was president. So the deep state, it's, it's, it's why they're there, right? It doesn't matter who wins, they're there anyways. Is he now the most powerful man in Brazil? Oh, by far. By far. Feared? Because he, he can just... Whatever he wants, and uh, I'll ask you, you're going to appeal for who? There is no one higher than the Supreme Court. If they decided something, everybody's looking, okay, this is not in favor of the Constitution. He is like not caring. Uh, he doesn't matter what the law is saying. He does whatever he wants, but okay, this is illegal. What can you do? This is the problem. That's why we are here. I'm not happy here debating about internal issues of Brazil. But at least we are alerting our friends here in the U.S. and preventing them to do not let this virus, this Brazilian virus, come to here. But this is the hard question. How can we fight back against someone that is doing that in the Supreme Court? Yeah. For example, uh, in the election, uh, in the presidential elections, his dad, Bolsonaro, couldn't do lives on his own home uh, government, gov go government. Official role. residence. Yeah, official residence. That happened to Trump as well. Yeah, they did this to Trump. For example, in the election, uh, I made a video saying that Lula, for example, um, he would uh, he was legalize like abortion, he would legalize the drugs, and I got a fine, like about $10,000, because I did that. And now we have two women ministers, uh, Lula put in, in the charge, and they support uh, abortion. The Supreme Court started to vote abortion and also drugs. So I was right, and I got fined for that. So who I'm, yeah, who I'm gonna appeal for that. So if you like this clip and you wanna watch another one, click right here, and if you wanna watch the entire podcast, click right here.